Hi guys, welcome back to Spurred On with me, Emma, and the lovely Reese. Hello. How are you doing, Reese? I'm not bad, thanks. You're quite happy, Reese. Very happy right now. This is another match preview. It's not a match battle preview. <laughs> no point. Well, this is the thing. We don't need to do battles anymore because as of last week, when Reese and Craig drew 15 all, it means that and I'm struggling to say this a little bit. But Just say it. Reese is on the lead. Yes. <laughs> Come on. Come Reece on, you Reese. Beating Craig into second and <laughs> a very lowly distant third. Because I did say before we even started that I was terrible at predictions. We've all said that. Yeah. We've all said it to cover our backs. Okay, so basically you might, you can probably, well, Oh, right. hand me the trophy, please. All right, all right. I'm trying to delay it. I'm trying to think of anything I can do to avoid nah, giving him just, the trophy. Might as well just hand can it you, to me. Can you not go full Leicester on this? Can you be a bit more classy? <laughs> no, it's just right. a little bit classy, okay? <laughs> Look. Okay? Yes? Yeah, fine, fine. Okay, so in which case we're going to give him, this is our official... Match battle preview trophy. Yes! Reese J, where's the champagne? Come on! <laughs> Match preview battle champion, Reese James, 2015 slash 16. Okay. Yes. That's enough of that now. Craig, Put it down. Craig Mitch. Put it down. <laughs> We've got more important things to talk about now. No, I'll just hold it here for yeah. the rest you of the... Gonna, you want to no, cuddle it? I'll put it, it down. I'll put it down. Do you want to cuddle it? I'll just take it home with me. It's going to look good on the tube, isn't it? That's going to look great on the tube. Um, <laughs> yeah, nice to get a draw to get the position I wanted, like uh, Spurs potentially will do yeah. on the last day of the season. Smooth. I'm the, I'm the smooth. human embodiment of Spurs <laughs> on this channel. At least there's at least there's some victory this season. Oh, okay, at least, at least someone's won a league. At least, You're going to be insufferable. At least one of the good guys. <laughs> You're going to be insufferable, aren't you? All summer. What? Next yeah. Season. Oh, Oh, yeah, wait till this. Bear in mind, I lost the first two, I think. Oh, well, Didn't get a point for the first two okay. fixtures, and then suddenly right. Right. Harry Kane starts scoring. You're good at predicting. <laughs> we get it. All right? Smashed it. Okay, fine. Should we move on? There are more important things uh, to talk about. I don't mind staying on there this for a bit. There are more important things to talk about than you winning the Match Battle Preview League, okay? Go ahead. We have one more game left. We do. It is all or nothing, pretty much. Yeah. Newcastle, St. James's Park, next Sunday, three o'clock. Yeah. So. King of predictions. Do you want me to predict it? What's the result going to be? Uh, okay, well, as there's nothing at stake anymore, I've gone for 4-1 to Spurs. Now, <laughs> but what you need to bear in mind, okay? What you you have you seen our last three games? What Just you need to bear in mind is that 4-1 is our most consistent scoreline this season. Okay. Victory scoreline, I think. It was. <laughs> one, of, one of these preview battles that I won, I said 4-1 and just picked loads of scorers because I beat the system and that is how you win. Um, that's how you win a big trophy. I've gone 4-1 to Spurs. Do you want to know my goal scorers? Go on then. Harry Kane's going to get one, which will confirm his golden boot. Hopefully. Okay. No, I'm saying that I'm also <laughs> predicting that Jamie Vardy will it's only get one. Score. Um, <laughs> and there'll be a hat trick of own goals from Andros Townsend. <laughs> champion. I'm champion of this. Do you know so what? that's. That's going to happen. I almost Agent know. Townsend, hat trick of own goals. He's going to cut in, in every single one, and smash it perfectly in the top corner. I almost don't want to bother with my match prediction now <laughs> because, quite frankly, it's so boring and normal and, uh, compared Sissoko to And Sissoko will score for Newcastle. Oh, dear. I see. I really, I, I feel overshadowed. That's my predictions. What have you gone for? Well, Any, have you gone for, uh, probably gone for something less realistic. I, 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 I have predicted 1-1. <laughs> I think, I think you're forgetting about Townsend, I but fair think enough. We're going to be nervous. I haven't forgotten about Townsend because I've predicted that he's going to score oh, for Newcastle. Wow. God. Yes. What a betrayal. Well, you know, it's just it's the way it goes with us. We know that. Standard. Nah, I don't. I don't so think I think it's going to be nervy. Yeah, it will be <laughs> I very. I'm going to be a bit stressed, but I do think our boy Harry is going to score, and I do think he will get the golden boot. All yeah, right. yeah, good. Okay. Um, but yes, I. <laughs> unfortunately, like if you'd asked me this, a few weeks ago, I would have said, oh, yeah, I would have gone 4-1, would have gone rogue like you. But I, the last three games have been not good. <laughs> yeah, uh, to be honest, I uh, probably do think we're going to get a draw as well. But, and, and, uh, oh, so, but you just thought what? But I thought, you know, you thought, what, bit of fun. I think as well because um, and we don't know yet. This is being filmed on a Tuesday. Um, so Sunderland have yet to play their game in hand. Uh, so obviously we don't actually know whether Newcastle will have anything to play for or not. Um, Thing is, though, weren't QPR down when the famous Aguero moment happened? Aguero! And they still put up a big fight. So, you know, I don't know if it... Joe Barton put up a real fight. He put up a literal <laughs> fight, <laughs> yeah. Actual fight. Um, <laughs> but I think they'll still, they will still go for it, yeah. even if not. But, yeah, they might be a bit... If we they've just been relegated, it, they might be a bit down But also we prefer it if they didn't have anything to play yes, for. Yes, absolutely. If it was, it's if, always yeah. harder to play against... If they had win to stay up. Exactly. Then... At St. James's Park with 50,000 Geordies. Yeah. 
Yeah, so no, there we go. So I've been far less um, optimistic than you, but hey, what's new? Uh, tell <laughs> me about your team then. Who have you selected? Um, I have gone for the exact same team from the Southampton fixture yeah. for some reason. Uh, Larice Walker, Toby, Jan, Rose, Dyer, Mason, Lamella, Eriksson, Son, Kane. Uh, I considered dropping Mason oh. in a protest and putting in Tom Carroll, but then I remembered. Uh, <laughs> Didn't Tom Carroll play in the last fixture against Newcastle? Uh, and like, yeah. they're too physical a team, Newcastle, they especially in midfield for Tom he, Carroll to play. And I remember that being a real issue last yeah. time, especially with Musa Sissoko, yeah. just bossing him. So I thought, no, nah, I'll bring in Mason. Yeah. He's not obviously nowhere near as physical as Dembele, but is more he's more physical, physical than enough. Tom Carroll. Yeah. yeah, he's physical enough. So, so it's uh, the same team. What about you? Yeah, I totally agree. Actually, my team is exactly the same as the starting eleven against Southampton. And I did consider, I did wonder about maybe I should mix it up and put in G in. Yeah, but I didn't. I wasn't really impressed no, with Ng the other day. Thing. I didn't really feel like he brought too much to the party on Sunday, so I'm going to stick with it. I mean, Sonny got our goal, didn't he? So yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. I thought he. I thought he was decent. I, I thought he was all right. I yeah, do love I thought he's it was so very happy. well taken goal. What a composed, it was a great, what a composed it was goal. A great finish. He's so happy all the time. Yeah, he I is. Love him for that. Um, but I mean, yeah. Let's talk about memories. Uh, there's, some, there's some good ones and some bad bad ones. Is start bad ones? off with the most recent yeah, match we played against them. Bad oh, memory. Oh, bad uh, I was at that game, and f it was the first poor performance from us all season. I thought, and for a while, the only one that I could, even like though we got a few draws and stuff, I was still like the only time we've actually played badly and deserved not to win was that Newcastle performance. Yeah. Um, and for a while, that was the only one. Since then, <laughs> there's been a few more, uh, particularly Southampton. But, yeah, that was a bad memory. Uh, however, the 2012 5-0, I remember oh. very fondly. Um, it was one of the few games Adebayor turned up to. He did. He was involved in all five goals. He scored one and was involved, I think, and maybe assisted all the other all four. The other Always four. involved in the build-up, all the other four. Uh, my boy, Benoit Asuakoto, got the opening goal in, Maybe. like, the third minute or something. Uh, Louis Saha got two. Uh, Harry's boy, Nico Cranshaw. Always had a lot of Got love one. Cruncher. Yeah, he did. A lot of yeah. love um, And it was a weird week as well because I remember Harry Redknapp was like he, front runner for the England job yeah. uh, after Capello had been sacked and it was all a bit up in the air. And he'd also just been cleared of his tax nonsense. Yes. I mean, that was my overriding memory from that because the 5 0 was my big memory against Newcastle. Yeah. And um, I just remember us singing Harry's name for pretty much the whole 90 minutes. Mm. Everybody was just, from the, literally the moment you stepped on the ground that night, everybody was just on it. Yeah. Like the fans, the players, like the, it's like the, you know, it was almost like something that was out of your control, the kind of swell of joy and motivation and happiness. Yeah. It was such an incredible night. Um, and it was one of the first times I think that I really felt like this is like our team. Yeah. Obviously, it then all went tits up. Of course. <laughs> yeah. I mean, naturally, that's, that's what happens. It's later, Spurs. On, later on in the season, and then, you know, Harry went, and then we were bottom of the lit. Uh, no, sorry. Then Harry went, but then we had Poch. Eventually. Yes, yeah. Via Sherwood, which we don't talk about. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a little speed bump on the way, on the way um, to Pochettino. But yeah, that was a great memory. And um, hopefully, I mean, you, know, you never know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it'll be five of the same on Sunday. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Five of the Queen's goals. Give me some stats. Or do you want me to um, go some stats? You go for your stat first. I'll go some stats, only because I feel like we've been quite sad because yep. it's been difficult so i just want to remind people of reasons to be cheerful as it stands at the moment going into this game this current spurs side this season we have got the best ever goal difference that we've ever had in the premier league we have scored more goals than we ever scored in the premier league we have conceded less or fewest sorry than we've ever conceded in the premier league and if we win if we go with reese's prediction we will finish on 73 points which would be our highest ever premier league points total good positive stats positive stats I like that. I like that very much. You're going to kill my positive um, stats now, No, you? I've also got uh, some positive <laughs> stats. Uh, Andros Townsend has cut in from the right and smashed it over the bar 5,000 times. That's not a real <laughs> stat. Uh, my stat is we have the second highest attempts on goal in Europe in 2016, only behind Real Madrid. Oh, now, that's pretty good. That's that is a positive stat. That stat was true six days ago. I don't know if it still is, but <laughs> we're in the top three probably. Um, we didn't get many against Southampton though, did we? But, no, uh, no, but we might have been so far ahead if it was in third, but it won't matter. We were quite far ahead actually. Yeah. But we were quite far behind Real Madrid and they got loads at the weekend. <laughs> yeah, so. it's Real Madrid. Yeah, exactly. Oh, to be no. second in Europe so, yeah, in 2016. To be second behind them, great. I mean, you know, that's just, I'm fairly sure it's, that's uh, pretty good. Six days ago it was 334. So I think it's now 335. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well maybe 336. You count Chadley one at the end? Yes. Yep. Yeah, fair enough. 336. 
Um, so we're not going to do our kind of normal league table predictions. No point, results. no point. No we already point. got ourselves yeah. right. a champion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he's won. Um, Leicester obviously already won the league. Uh, however, my prediction, my question for you, are we going to finish above Arsenal? Oh, don't make me, don't make me answer that. Please don't make me answer that. <laughs> I don't know. I hope so. I can't. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, um. oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what do you think? I, I, <sighs> yes. But I think it's only going to be on goal difference. Yeah. I think oh, I think if we do, win. it will only be on goal difference. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah. And even then, they'll probably win 13 nil and oh, get really close. No, okay. No, no, we're not going to let ourselves think about that. I'm saying yes. Imagine if Villa I just hope. win. God, come on, Villa. Oh, go on, Villa. Just because you want to have a laugh, you know. Yeah. It's going down anyway. Exactly. Yes, well, let us know if you agree with our predictions or specifically Craig's crazy prediction and my... My name's Reese, but thank you. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> we're, we're very similar, to be fair, so yeah, I understand. Yeah, I know you look really I, under I understand the, the mistake. Let us know uh, whose predictions you agree with. Um, let us know who you think is going to score, what you think the team will be. Do you think Newcastle are going to come back to bite us on the arse? Do you think... We're going to finish above that lot down the road. Um, let us know in the comments below. Give us a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. And come on, you Spurs, please. Hi, guys. Barnaby for Spurred on. It's Monday, the morning after, the night before. It was actually yesterday afternoon, but our 2-1 defeat at home to Southampton.